So today we're going to be looking at how to fit the uh, standard Kamado adapter that comes with your Smartfire to a normal Kamado. Um, we have a Primo XL here. What you get in the pack is what we call the standard size adapter, uh, 83 by 72 mil plus an extension clip. Now the key thing is, is it comes flat and your barbecue has natural curvature depending on how big your actual barbecue is. So what we're going to be doing is fitting it here. So we basically want to put out the vent door and just figure out the orientation. Now with this one, we could actually go that high and just fit it in. Um, or, you know, we could just do that. And we're actually done and dusted. That's actually the kind of the easiest way of doing it. And then you slide in your door behind. But some barbecues out there also have a ash catcher system here that you want to be able to clean. So then it's actually more preferable to put it on the horizontal orientation and then use the clip to um, bridge the gap. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, what we're going to be doing today is showing you the second method with the clip. Um, so what we do is we put the clip on the top left hand side. We might as well get rid of the little kill plug for the time being. And what we want to do is because your barbecue does curve, we just want to introduce a little bit of curvature to the side that will be on the right. Just a little bit of gentle pressure. And as you can see, we've got a little bit of a bend now. You can try also giving this edge just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit just to so it sits more evenly in the channel because the channel does bend and if it's perfectly straight you'll notice it's a bit stiff sliding that across this is a bit of an issue going to give this a tiny little bit of bend out using the vent door because those new little teeth are going to bend in a touch. So we're going to sit it in front, we slide it up so it's nicely in and we're not too straight in that channel and then we can slide this and normally we can get it just and so it's now all nice and snug with no major holes. And that just means it's easier to unclip it in future like that. Another method you could decide to go with is as I say, see that's nice and easy to remove from the front rather than having to slide it the whole way. And sometimes these um, bolts actually block you from sliding the adapter on and off on some barbecues. So that's why that's a useful technique. But on the Primo, on the Primo XL, which has a nice big vent door Going to straighten this adapter again and we're just going to give the other side a little bit of a curvature just to show you what that looks like we could actually slide it in and it comes in nicely from the side and that's top to bottom just nice and nicely sitting there which is how i normally like to run it and you can just touch that a little bit behind that also has the advantage of being able to slide it all the way behind and now it's blocked and killed the adapter. So you don't actually need to use the kill plug if you're using this method on the Primo. Open up. And also it's a good idea while we're talking about vents, if you're cooking above 300, leave this bottom little vent just a couple of millimeters open. It just means when you close the lid, the air doesn't burp back out through the smart fire or go out the little vent hole, which is great when you're doing super um, higher temperatures, you know, particularly over 400, I'd definitely leave it open a little bit like that. Well, that's all.